I am in India right now, in Delhi, where it's quite hot, and I figured I would make a video about scientific consensus, specifically that around climate change. This is The Scope of Science, I'm Curtis Bowdy, and today I want to talk about a paper that came out in November 2016. Now this paper looked at the scientific consensus around the argument that people are making the planet warmer through emissions and greenhouse gases. We are causing climate change. Now they looked at the 3% of papers that said, oh no, 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 we're not doing that, and here's why. They looked at that 3% and basically reviewed them. They looked at the statistics they used, they looked at the literature that they uh, reviewed, they looked at, maybe if they were cherry-picking their data, they looked at all sorts of argument flaws. They went through those papers and they found that of all those 38 papers, all of them had some sort of very significant critical flaw. And basically they concluded that if you disregard those papers due to their poor scientific validity and quality, we come out with a 100% consensus around the issue of human-caused climate change. I want to take just a quick moment to talk about the fact that the Earth is getting warmer, because since the 19th century, Earth, on average, the, ov the overall average temperature on the planet, has risen by 1.1 degrees Celsius, which doesn't sound like a lot, maybe, but it really is. And it affects people in all sorts of ways. Now, most of that increase in temperature has happened in the last 35 years, with 16 of the last 17 years being the hottest on record. It's a real thing. For example, in India, where I'm at now, it frequently gets to be over 37 degrees. It was 37 degrees today. It gets much hotter than that. Last year it broke an all-time heat record at 51 degrees Celsius on a day in May. It's freaking hot. If it gets too much hotter, it's going to really affect people's lives, and it will probably end some people's lives. Heat stroke happens at 40 degrees Celsius, if you're looking for some context. So we're talking really hot. And it's not just that it's going to directly affect people's bodies, it's going to displace them as the water levels rise, it's going to affect our crops, it's going to do all types of things, but I don't really want to get into that any more than I just did. I want to talk about scientific consensus. Because in science, nothing comes easily. We don't just have this scientific idea and accept it. We do a lot of research, we try to dissuade ourselves. We get others to try to come up with the same conclusion or to reach maybe a different conclusion. And over time, if an idea is good enough, we might, just might, end up reaching a consensus about it. And it took us a long time to come to a consensus with climate change, but we're there. 100% of scientific articles that are well done agree that humans are making the planet warmer by carbon emissions and by other greenhouse gas emissions. Now, consensus is really important in science, but it's also really important in the media and in our schools, because when we reach a scientific consensus about something, it's important that we address it as such. Things like climate change or evolution or <laughs> the fact that the Earth is a sphere, those are scientific truths. Those are things that, as much as we look into them, we always come out with the same answer, unless we're doing something wrong. It's important that when we do say, oh, there are climate change deniers, or there are people that don't believe in evolution, we don't argue that, oh, that's the other side of the argument, that this is another way of looking at it. We don't teach both sides as having equal validity, because they really don't. There's science, things like climate change and evolution, and there's not science. There's other arguments that are just not scientific. And we really shouldn't ever clump those together in the same vein. I think that's a really important thing that we start doing and paying more attention to and calling people out on it when they are doing it. Because hearing both sides of the argument can be a dumb thing if one argument is crap. Anyway, just a little rant 
I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like this video if you did, and subscribe for more science from the scope of science if you're into that. And either way, thanks so much for watching.